Hey Taurus, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here for your reading. Today is super exciting because we're going to be looking at what's coming up for you next in love. So who's coming up, what's going to happen, who's around you, all the juicy details that we need to know. So before I get into it, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That would be amazing. Um, also, if anyone was after a private reading, I am currently accepting those. So please email me. And um, I can go ahead and send you all the details for that. Otherwise, let's have a look, Taurus. What is coming up for you? How exciting. Okay, what's coming up for Taurus in love? Okay, we've got a Leo around you, maybe. Okay, you've got a couple of pages and an empress. Mm. Okay, I'm seeing a couple of people that are coming towards you here, but um, to be honest, I see you as the empress. You also six of pentacles, eight of cups, page of wands, page of cups. Um, there's two potential people that are coming up around you. Um, I don't know, Taurus. I feel like you're waiting out or you're holding out for someone special. Um, is what I'm getting. Okay. Interesting. Page of Pentacles, Page of Wands, Page of Cups. Okay. I'm seeing multiple connections coming up around you. Uh, or multiple people offering you a connection. Okay, Taurus. There's, there's something happening here. Could be a Capi, a Libra, uh, Pisces. Okay. I'm seeing an attraction that's coming up around you. But this person's not good for you, Taurus. Someone coming up here, they're very beautiful. Okay, they're very attractive. They turn you on. They get the juices going and that's all nice. But there's something that they're taking away. And I feel like they're taking away your peace, Taurus. You're letting someone take away your peace. Now, your focus is on this person and you have other people, pages. Now, pages turn into knights, knights turn into kings. So it's either you have other connections, people around you that you don't know too well. Um, you know, you might work with them. You might see them out here and there. You might um, bump into them when you're out with certain friends. They're interested, but they're not approaching you because they know you're focused on whoever this, whoever this person is. doesn't have to be a Capricorn, but I'm seeing Seven of Swords with the Devil. This is someone, Ten of Swords, who has hurt you before. And you're still giving them your attention and your time. Um, look, I am seeing that this person will improve their behavior. And I think for some of you, it's been one-sided. Six of Pentacles. I feel like for a long time, it's been you have been more invested in them. You've been more focused on them. You've given them a lot and you've done a lot. Um... And, you know, God love you for that. But it's always been this person has been receiving and taking and receiving and taking from you. Wheel of Fortune is telling me things are going to change in this connection, right? Things are going to improve slowly, but it's going to come from an ultimatum with a justice card. And I think it's coming from your side. And look, that might jolt them into action because if I, you are the empress to me, like beautiful, earthly, sensual, Taurian, Ooziness. I mean, this is you, like, wrapped up in this beautiful card, right? You're on top. You're on top of the devil. So there's a power, there's a change in power play. This person was on top. They were calling the shots. Wheel of Fortune's telling me you're going to send an ultimatum through. Something's going to happen, and you're, you're going to have the higher end. Uh, you're going to have the upper hand in this connection. And that's going to give you more control over the situation, because I don't think you had it, Taurus. Um... It's like you've been acting with them a certain way and you've been doing things a certain way and you're going to switch it up. So like if you've been super anxious and you're worried about where they are and you're jealous and possessive, you've shown that to them, right? All of a sudden you're going to switch it up on them, I think. Well, something's happening with this justice card here um, and things are going to change and suddenly this person's going to be more romantic. They're going to try harder for this connection. Eight of Cups, you might even entertain some of these pages that are around you. Now, pages can be younger. It can be people who, like I said, you don't really know too much about them, right? They're, 
they're a little bit mysterious, but it's it's people that have crossed your path somehow and you've considered them um, in a relationship way. Now, these are people that are interested in you, but like I said, they're not making the offers because they know through your social media or through your mutual friends, um, they know that you, your attention is with this person here. Whether you're exclusive or not, these pages know. So they're sort of orbiting you. Um, see how they're around one, two, three pages. You're up here as the Empress. Um, but they're around, they're watching. They're sort of waiting and watching to see how things unfold. It's really kind of cute. Um, you have a little... You have a little community, right? You have this little fan base, these, this bunch of secret admirers. I don't think they know each other, but they're like, oh, when's Taurus going to break up? Or, oh, I'm going to check on their social media. They're checking up. They're checking up to see, have you posted pictures with them? Are you? Are they still in your stories? You know, they're, they're, they're making it very subtle. Pages aren't overly obvious. Um, they're more subtle. So, yeah, it's making me think there's this subtle energy here. Um but I'm seeing the strength next to the Ten of Swords. And I think this is this darker connection that I'm seeing. Okay, look, I'm getting a sense that you've been through a lot with this person. So you don't want to walk away entirely. And I get that, right? You've invested a lot into this connection. But I reckon you're going to flip the script on them. I do. And I think that's going to change their ways. Strong Capricorn. We've got that Leo energy. Um, it's telling me you keep putting in strength and energy um, but I also feel like you're going to go into a position of strength and you're going to end up having the upper hand. So that's going to change. That's going to flip the script and change the dynamic of this connection. And suddenly you'll be on top and your person, this person, is going to be chasing you more and more. Um, but I feel like there is a conversation that needs to happen uh, and it needs to expose things to the limelight. We've got the Seven of Swords, so it's something about deceit, lying. This person has lied to you before. This needs to be addressed, and it needs to be put out in the open. But like a moth to a flame. God, you guys are crazy about each other. Then why is there so much pain here, Taurus? Why is there so much of this Seven of Swords devil energy? That, that sort of needs to be looked at. Um, I am. I feel like I want to vouch for this person because I don't think they're entirely bad. I just think they don't know when they're making mistakes. Well, I don't know if this happened before and before and, and again, and I don't know, then something's got to give here. But I do think you're going to see improvements there. The Wheel of Fortune is sending you more more love more luck more fate so you will see an improvement there and i do feel like what's what's big that's coming up for you is that you're going to sort of look at the situation and you're going to have this inner dialogue with yourself going is this the person i want to be with are they giving me peace are they giving me pain are they giving me pleasure like i see you you really asking yourself these bigger questions about this person Whilst all your little uh, fan base here, your little pages are in the corner, just, it's like, you know, you know how you go up to like the deli counter and you take a ticket and you wait patiently to get your meat? This is what I think, like, I think everyone's just got a little ticket in their hand here and, and you're the meat, okay, Taurus, you're the baloney in this. And then you've got these like people so cutely holding their tickets, waiting, waiting to get a chance with you. And it's really sweet. So I don't know, you know, that you take a chance take a chance follow your heart but it's nice to take chances sometimes you don't know where they can get you so yeah very interesting reading but i'm going to leave it there i do hope that has been helpful um thank you again so so much uh, for tuning in it really does mean a lot and um all the best we'll chat soon